We're now going to show you a series of short videos illustrating how to use a Clubboy CB3 to lift roof panels up to 12 meters long. When the machine arrives on site, it will have been transported in one of these steel storage boxes. This is what we use to transport the machines around the UK and the carrier network. Uh, please keep this box on site and use it to pack the machine away when you finish with it. You may also store the machine in this box when it's not being used. So when you're ready to open the box up, just open the lids on the top of the box. And you'll see that the machine is inside the container, laid on its back. Uh, the main bar of the machine is sitting in the saddle arrangement and the top of the machine is resting on two, two lugs at the back of the box here. It will have been retained in the box with some plastic ties, simply snip those. And discard them. And then using two hands on the lifting eye on the top of the clad boy, pick it up and rotate it forward. Okay. Now, to secure it in that position, uh, the side of the machine, there's a, a locking pin. This has got two possible positions. One allows the machine to rotate, and the second one locks it in position. So I've now locked the machine in the upright position. So standing in that position, you can see now underneath uh, the components that you need to uh, lift the roof panels. Uh, depending on what the length of the roof panels you're lifting, uh, the right components will have been shipped to site to suit those particular panels. So we're going to lift this machine out of here now. We're going to attach the crane to the lifting eye and just raise it clear of the box. As we lift it up, you'll see it just lifts off the seat at the bottom there. And you can lift it clear of the box. Now, when you're not using the machine, it's best to locate it back so the bottom beam of the club boy sits in this saddle affair here, and the machine can be left upright, or you can fold it back down into the transport box. If you do decide to fold it back down into the transport box, make sure that you then close the lids on top to protect the machine from the weather. And just again, show the components underneath. You'll notice that the suction pads have been positioned so that they're facing upwards, and the rubber seals are not in contact with the bottom of the box. So we're now gonna assemble this machine. We're gonna show you two different arrangements, one to suit the panels which are up to 10 meters long, and one to suit panels up to 12 meters long. So for the 10 meter panels, the roof arms simply slot into the side of the Cladboy main beam. I'll the machine. Okay, so that will position the suction pads approximately two and a half meters apart. And that configuration is suitable for 80 mil core roof panels up to 10 meters long. Now, normally we would lock uh, the pins in and make sure the hose is connected. We're going to show you the next configuration. So if your panels are longer than 10 meters, they're up to 12 meters long. Two additional bars go into the machine either side before the roof extension arms go on. So the bars, again, slot into the main turn bar on the machine. They'll be pinned and locked into position. And then the roof extension arm will again go on the end of that bar at each side. Okay. And you'll see there, now you've got suction pads on these extension arms, approximately 
four and a half metres apart. And that's the configuration we use for roof panels up to 12 metres long with normal core thicknesses. And you can go, um, you can extend the configuration for longer panels. You can even go to panels uh, longer than 20 metres. But when you get to a longer configuration, you're going to need to use some suspension chain sets that we provide. So this is the longest configuration you can do uh, without suspension chains. So we're now going to break that, this back down to the simple configuration because our sample panel is only around five metres long. So now we're going back to the very basic configuration, suction pads around at two and a half metres apart. So once you're happy, make sure that all the extension arms make sure the holes line up. Eventually they will line up. it a locking pin goes in the pins are retained with the R clips the same each side then the suction hoses from the suction pads connect to the underside of the machine they're on quick release couplings to remove them you just push the pipe up squeeze the collar up and pull it out and when you put it in you should hear a positive click and it's locked into position so that means that the suction pads are connected you know along the hoses to the actual machine and the last thing to put on the machine at each end, whether using this configuration or the slightly extended configuration, is the secondary safety strap. And that goes in the end of the arm, and again it's pinned into position. Again, the pins retained with an R clip, everything is secure, the machine's assembled, and that's how you'd uh, set the machine up for 10 meter roof panels. When you're not using it, make sure everything goes back into the transport box. Um, and it's, as I said earlier, it's the best place to store the machine, sitting on well, its main beam, sitting on this saddle here. And uh, you can leave it upright, uh, in which case it's uh, fairly well protected from weather. If you decide to fold it back down into the box, don't forget to close the lids because when the machine's on its back, it's not weather protected. Water will find its way into the machine. I'm gonna stop this video and restart to show you some main features of the machine.